Today we're going to finish this repair on this Honda. We're going to use an aerosol paint and an aerosol 2K clear coat. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so you can do this at home. Howdy, howdy, Chris here. In a previous episode, we repaired some rust on this quarter panel all without welding. If you want to check out that video, I'll leave a link at the end. Today we're going to prep and paint this repair without a compressor or a paint gun. This is a true DIY repair that you can do in your garage. The first step is to make sure your repair surface is clean. And for that, I'm using Sprayway Glass Cleaner. This is just a water-based cleaner that I can remove any dirt or contaminants. You could also use wax and grease remover or isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so in order to sand this and get this prepped out to paint, let me just explain what we're gonna do here. So we're not gonna paint this whole quarter panel all along the top of the roof. We are gonna break it off at this body line here. I'm gonna show you how we do it. But when we're prepping out this panel, we need to we're going to be clearing all the way over to this quarter panel. We're going to blend it right there and then blend it on that body line. So we need to sand this in preparation for the paint and clear coat. So if we don't sand this surface properly, our paint and our clear coat will never stick. And we want that to have good adhesion so it doesn't peel down the road. Now in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to knock off the shine of this. Now you can do that with several different types of sandpaper. Um, what I would recommend is from 600 to 1,000 grit sandpaper. To sand this nice and evenly, get it smoothed out, you can sand out any imperfections. We have a little bit of touch-up paint here that somebody touched it up at one time. We're going to sand that smooth. What I am going to use is this is a 800 grit ultra-fine foam pad. makes it really easy to sand this and get around these contours. Now we're not gonna sand above this body line here because that's where we're gonna break it off. Okay, so I, when I'm sanding this, I don't wanna hit the adjacent panels. I don't wanna scratch this bumper. So what I'm gonna do before I sand real close to these bumper and this tail light, we're gonna tape these off so we don't do any damage to them. Now for this area here, we're not going to go above this edge. So what I want to do is I'm going to go over this edge with a 1500 grit scuff pad like this one. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow clear to just go up on that edge and adhere properly. But even though I scratch above this edge, we're going to be able to polish that out really easy because it's just a 1500 grit scratch. So we'll just go ahead and scuff this edge and we are going to blend it right here. And then as far as the primered areas, what I want to do is go over this with 320 grit sandpaper. So I'm going to block this out a little bit with 320 and then we'll just run over it lightly with some 800 and that'll be ready for paint. So we've got a small block here. This is just a flexible block. Really should be probably firm, but we're just going to block this with the 320. What we're gonna do is now clean it. After we have it all sanded, have all the edges sanded properly, we're gonna go ahead and clean it with some wax and grease remover. And then we'll clean it with some isopropyl alcohol in order to help with static elimination. And we'll do this just after we have it taped up and just before we spray it. Okay, now this is what your quarter panel should look like. Nice fine scratches, all nice and uniform. Now we're gonna mask off back tape inside this jam. I'll show you what we're gonna do along the top edge of this because what we're gonna do is fold over a piece of tape. I'll show you what we're gonna do on that body line, but right now I'm gonna have Darius tape off the perimeter of this. And we're gonna use automotive uh, masking plastic to do this. Um, I would recommend you just get some or any kind of plastic or you can use newspaper and tape off the perimeter. We're gonna cover the entire vehicle for overspray. And we're just doing this in a garage, no paint booth, just like you would be doing at home. Darius just used some foam tape on the inside door jam, and then we'll shut the door on that and that'll seal it from any overspray. And now we need to tape off the wheel. So what I did is I cleaned off the inside wheel opening on this quarter panel, removed any dust or dirt that was in there. So now we can apply some inch and a half tape 
right on that edge of that wheel opening. And this will allow us to paint that lip and mask off the wheel and the undercarriage. On this body line, we're gonna take a piece of tape here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half. They make a machine that does this, but just like that, I'm just gonna run my finger down and fold this in half. And that leaves a sticky edge on this piece of tape. We'll take that edge and we'll lay that right on this body line. And then when we blow clear under it, a little bit of clear is gonna go over that body edge. The body line doesn't continue all the way off the car, so I'm just gonna loop it here a little bit. And then we'll run plastic, so a little bit of clear will blow under there. And then we'll pull this tape and wash that in after we clear it. Okay, so now we have this all masked off and ready to spray. This is the color for this vehicle. Uh, same color code, 737M. I'm not, I'm not sure how well this is gonna match, but we had this mixed up at O'Reilly's. They put it in an aerosol can, and then we're gonna go over it with the 2K Spray Max clear coat. We'll start off by just covering this primer, one light coat, and let it flash off for 10 minutes and then we'll come back with a second coat. So Darius is gonna wipe it down with the alcohol. All this is gonna help with eliminating static, which, would, which helps eliminate dirt. We've got this shaking up really well. Let's test it out here. So let's put one light coat. Remember, we got primer underneath here, so we'll, we'll do that first. Put it on fairly dry. We'll let this flash off for about 10 minutes. It's really hot today. We'll let it flash off for about 10 minutes and we'll put another coat on. Now I went out a little bit farther on the second coat, but we just want to get that primer covered. And the color actually looks pretty, pretty decent. There's after, that's third coat. It actually looks pretty good. Color looks pretty, pretty close. We're gonna let it flash off. It actually sprays really well out of this aerosol can, which is surprising. It's nice and even. Mm -hmm. It's laying down really nice and uniform, which I'm kind of surprised with. I'm pleasantly surprised. But let's put one more coat on. I'm gonna go out just a little bit farther and up just a little bit more. And I think that looks good. Now we'll let this flash off a little bit, tack it off, and then we'll, I'll show you how we lay down the clear coat. So we got a little chip here. I don't know if you can see that right there. Now I don't wanna put color all the way up here, so I'm just gonna to touch that up. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one of these little paint daubers here. They've got a little cotton on the end, and I'm just gonna spray it. And then I'm just going to touch this up. And now we'll let that dry and then we can clear over that and that'll just help hide that a little bit more. Okay, so now this is dry. I'm just going to go over and take a, a tack cloth. We're just going to wipe it down. And then what I'm going to do is probably put an orientation coat on. I think it looks pretty uniform to me, but just to be safe, I'm going to put an orientation coat on where I, <clears throat> I get back just a little bit farther, dust the coat on, and then we'll clear it. Now that our base coat is nice and dry, we're going to go ahead and apply the clear coat. Now this is the Spray Max 2K Glamour Clear Coat. This is a catalyzed 2K clear coat that hardens and it has UV protections. A really good clear coat for this application or DIY or doing at home. 
Now, the way you use this is you want to shake it up for two minutes. Then you take the little red cap off the top and you put it on the bottom and you can puncture the bladder. You put a little bit of pressure on there. It punctures the bladder. It mixes the activator with the clear coat. After you've punctured that bladder, you need to shake it up for another two minutes to get that fully mixed. And then you're ready to apply the clear. Now, this says you should spray it 10 inches away. Now, I found that to be a little bit far away. I was about five to six inches away when I sprayed it and got good results. So you want to use this within the same day or the next couple days. It, it is going to harden up. Okay, let's start by putting a dust coat on this. I'm not going to go real heavy on the first coat. I'm probably going to do a section at a time and then move until the quarter panel is completely sprayed and covered. And then we'll do at least one more coat, at least a second coat. Okay, so it looks pretty good. You can see it's dry in some areas, which is fine. I expected it to be because I'm not putting it on really heavy. But actually it comes out of the spray can really uniform, nice and even. And I think the second coat is really gonna make a difference on the gloss on this. And it's really gonna give it a deep clarity, a nice clarity. Okay, so coat number two, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on it. I'm gonna try and make it, I'm gonna try and slick it out so it has a high gloss and a flat finish. We'll see what happens. Got a little bit heavy here and it may run. I don't know. <laughs> so you can see that right there is a little bit heavy. Well, it didn't actually run. I'm surprised because I got really close right there and it got a little bit heavy, but it did not actually run. So let's let this set up for about 10 minutes and we'll take a good look at it. Okay, so it didn't run. It has a, a few little dry areas. It's hard to see in this light. I'm trying to show you guys I thought I really got a little close there and I thought I ran it, but it actually slicked out really good right there. So it looks pretty decent. This is this, we're getting ready to put on the third coat. I'm going to go a little bit smaller area and try and slick it out just a little bit better. Hopefully we don't run it, but you never know.
So I did get a little bit of a run here, and you can see it right there. But that should wet Santa buff out, no problem. Uh, just a little bit of a sag, and I got real close right in that spot. Wasn't used to spraying with an aerosol can, but overall, I think it came out pretty good. The clear coat really was pretty easy to apply. It didn't it doesn't have a big spray pattern, so you got to make sure you overlap when you're spraying your clear coat and you're doing your passes. Make sure you're overlapping enough. So let's unbag this, take a good look at it. So I got, I tried to hit a little spot here. It looked a little dry and I got a little run there. I don't know if you can see it there. It's very light. I thought it was gonna run quite a bit, but it really didn't. Not bad, the color's not bad. So let's let this dry up for a couple hours and then we'll pull the paper, pull it outside and take a look. Okay, so now we've unbagged this. We're gonna pull it out in the sun and take a look at it here, but overall, it's pretty dry right now. It's been about an hour and a half. The color is what really impressed me. This is just a little tape line, but the color matched really well, which I was impressed with. And the clear coat laid down very nice for an aerosol can. I, I was pleasantly surprised. We'll see how it cuts and buffs. Now I did, I hit a little spot here that was a little bit dry. I hit it a little bit heavy and it had a little bit of a sag there. I thought it was gonna really run because I stopped in one spot and it looked like it was gonna run, but it actually cured pretty quickly and it and it's just a little bit of a sag there you can see and i think that'll wet sand and buff out pretty easy so not a big deal we're going to paint this entire vehicle in some upcoming videos remove all the dents but i wanted to give you guys an idea of what can be accomplished with some aerosol cans paint and clear coat this was my first time doing a repair like this with aerosol color and aerosol clear coat. And I have to say this is a really viable option for some, somebody to do this at home. It's really not that difficult. You just got to follow the instructions on the can, follow the steps that I've laid out for you here. Make sure you're overlapping when you lay down your clear coat and you're not going to run it like I did. But overall, it came out beautifully for what it is. And if you were wanting to just clean up your vehicle, clean up a couple spots on your vehicle, this might be a great option for you. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found value in this video, do me a favor. Give me a like. Leave me a comment down below. I appreciate each and every one of you watching. And we'll see you next time on Garage Noise.